So lush, easy projects fully explained. Part 3 of how to download your designs to a USB and how to organise your designs in your software program. So far in this series we've looked at how to save a design directly onto your um, USB stick and also how to save it onto your uh, desktop and to make um, a library on, in a folder on your desktop so that it's easy to find. For both of these two things you don't need any software on your computer. Uh, this episode we're going to look at using software and um, saving uh, a design into your software and also setting up your software so that you've got um, your designs organised. I've got uh, two main um, software packages on my uh, computer. I've got PE Design 11, which is the one I most often use, and that's a brother um, full digitising package. And I've also got Embird, which is a generic uh, package. Um, and it's very good, Embird. Um, it's a lot cheaper than PE Design. Uh, so to start with, I'm going to open PE Design. And this is what it looks like when it's opened onto the front page of PE Design. And if I go up here into the left hand corner, I can go to my files and I'm going to open my files. This is my um, brother folder. And if I go down my brother folder, I come to PE Design and this is the package. So if I open the package, um, the first thing I did uh, in order to make an organisation for my designs to sit in, I opened a folder in PE Design called My Designs. Now, although this um, little tutorial mostly will um, resonate with people who have PE Design, if you have another sort of software that goes with um, the, the kind of machine that you've got, um, you can still do the same thing, it's just that the names would be different. So you'd need to click on the folder that holds your program and then you, what you need to do is you need to uh, do what we did at the start in episode one. You need to click on that and you need to, to open a new folder. And you need to name the folder. Now I've called my folder My Designs, but you can call it what you like. Um, I call it My Designs because I know exactly what that means. So if I click on that, and then what I did was I went in and made a whole lot of folders inside My Design. Now if you've already got a lot of designs, and I'm assuming that you're already an embroiderer because you're looking at this um, video, um, one of the things you can do is just have a quick look at them and see what sorts of things might go together. Now for example, I've got a lot of amazing designs. Um, when I first started embroidering, um, there weren't that many embroideries around and what you had to do was you had to buy, um, it started off with embroidery cards and then it went to embroidery CDs and these had the designs on them. You couldn't uh, download them directly from the internet but these days of course you can but I've still got a whole lot of um, amazing designs and I've taken them off the CDs and I've put them onto my computer but that's what that one is. And if we go down you can see I've got for example a, a folder called animals and what I've done with that is I've opened that um, that folder up and then I've made more folders inside. So if I click on that, I've got Australian animals, tiny butterflies, cats, um, birds, two lots of birds. And then what I do is I um, save the various designs that I get to the relevant folder. So if I go back up, you can see I've got a whole lot of different folders going down. Um, 
I'm going to go now to Embroidery Library because that seems to be the one that I'm doing for this demonstration. So if I click on Embroidery Library in my software, it's pretty much the same as the one on the desktop that we made uh, in the last session. So this has got animals, autumn, bees, birds, caravan, cats, chickens, etc. Um, very, very similar to what we did um, on the desktop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say browse and then in my software that opens up anything that's in this embroidery library folder that's not in a in another folder. So these are just ones I haven't filed properly yet. Um, I've got quite a few going down. And if I open, for example, this bunny design, which I've just done, and it's a very nice design, it opens in my software and uh, shows me the design and sh shows me um, the colours and also other things that, um, that come with this particular digitising package. But um, that, will, that will basically show you how to set up folders and file in your folders. So um, if I now close this, oh, before I do that, I'll show you how to um, save this to my USB. So... I've inserted my USB and with this software I can just go up here to send and I can click on send and I can say send it to USB and it will go directly to my USB. I can also go up here to save as, sorry I can go down to my USB drive open my USB drive and save it onto my USB drive. So I've got two methods of doing it from here, but um, it, it's certainly very straightforward from my, from my program. I'm just going to close that and I'm going to go down to File Explorer. I'm going to open my USB drive and you can see I've got um, the bunny in there and that will now go directly to my machine and I can stitch it out. Now I'm aware that um, I've got a particular setup on my computer. I mean, I think most people arrange their computer in a way that suits them and that, that's what, exactly what I've done. Um, I've, I'm running on Windows 10 so if you're running on a different version to me, um, your computer might be set up slightly differently. With Windows 10, you get this little uh, window on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. And in there, I can put File Explorer. It'll come up and I can open it. And I can access my files that way. I can also click on this little icon, which is File Explorer, and that takes me to exactly the same place. Now, if you've got uh, Windows 11, um, I understand that File Explorer is a different icon on this um, bar at the bottom, and you will probably know which one it is. But if you scroll up across the bottom, with your mouse but not clicking on anything and hover it should come up and tell you what your buttons are and you'll find one so that that one is outlook this one is word um, it you'll find one that says file explorer and that's the one you click on um, if you've got uh, a different setup altogether so for example you've got a Mac computer, then I am sorry, I really cannot um, help you in this um, tutorial except very generally because I don't have Mac and I don't really 
um, use a Mac. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't say how things work on a Mac. Uh, if I go back to File Explorer, open it right up, and uh, go down to my program, this is how I find my program. I go down to my C drive. You'll see here it says OS and then the letter C. Now that's the drive that I have all my programs on. And I go across and then I look at programs, program files um, x86. There's two program files folders. The first one has smaller programs in it and this is larger programs. So if I look in there, I will find Brother. And that's what my software is. So I click on Brother. And I've also got a Brother printer, so I've got a few files in here. But I'm looking for PE Design. And I open PE Design. And then you can see this is my actual program. So it's got lots of things in here. Um, it's got fonts, it's got patterns. Uh, positioning sheets, settings, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so what I'm really looking for in here is my designs. So if I click on my designs, this opens up all the folders that um, I've got in my program. Now this is another way that you can actually set up the folders in your um, in your program. If I just go back I oh, know it's just started to open, but I'll just go back for a second. When you're in this view with the various folders for your program, if you click on a blank space and put new folder, you can set up a folder in this part of the program. And then that folder, um, which you can then rename, you can then set folders up inside of. So I'm just going to delete that so I don't confuse myself. Right, so then once I'd set up that basic folder, I can go into it and I can set up all these other folders. And I can just say, again, new folder and set one up and call it what I want. Um, I'm not suggesting this is a quick fix especially if you like me you've got thousands and thousands of designs it's um, the sort of thing that you can um, set up and then um, add to so if you've got all your designs just all over the place and um, in a, not not sorted out and you have to scan through things to find them uh, this is a good way to make a start so if you make a start by making some folders. You don't have to have this many. You can have as many as you think you'll need. And then start adding um, your um, your various designs to the folders, even if you just do it as you use them. Over time, you will have your, all your folders um, and designs sorted out. Uh, it might take a little while, but it's, it's so worth it. It's so, so worth it um, because what I find is that um, I can just go to a single um, folder and find exactly what I'm looking for, either because there's only a few in there or because they're all... Now, I, I sometimes buy um, things from Etsy, not many, and I find the um, digitising on Etsy is very um, variable. So um, I don't actually get a lot, but I have got some. So I've got a folder called Etsy, and if I open Etsy... You'll see, yeah, that's it. There we go. But um, what I can do is I know pretty much the designs I've bought from Etsy. So um, I can go in and just find them very easily because I know that's what I've bought. Um, it's, it's, it's a simple uh, way of organising them. And just for fun, I'm going to go into Embird and just show you in Embird what's going to happen. So this is Embird. It's similar um, in a way to PE Design. Um, 
but it, it, it just looks a little bit different. And if I go in here at the top, so I just go up to my C drive, go down again to my program files. In my program files, I go to brother. And then I go down to my designs, my designs. So what I'm actually doing is opening the files in one program with another program. So I can actually access all my files that I've saved in um, PE Design, I can access those files from lots of other places, well, any other place really. So if I go down to Embroidery Library, here's all my files in Embroidery Library. Now you can see why I like to look at the pictures because now all I've got are the names in this particular program. But let's say I go for mum pairs. I'm not sure what that is actually. There you are, world's greatest mum. So um, I, can, I can actually edit it in this program if I want to or I can um, send it to my um, USB and to do that I go up here to editor file save as So if I close this up, so now when I look in my USB folder, there's my mum design there, which is the one I just saved from um, Embird. This has been part three of a three-part set. I hope you watch the other two videos and that you find this helpful. If you do, please like share and comment and if you want any particular videos please let me know.